Do you ever wonder how you could possibly create your own lettering style? Are you struggling with comparing yourself to others? I'm so glad you're here. Join me in creating your own confident lettering style with this YouTube series called 26 Ways to Letter. Hey friends, I'm Sarah from Ensign Insights. Thank you so much for checking out this video. In this video, I will be using the Karen Marker Brush Marker Pro. I really like these brush pens a lot. I did a whole review about them if you've never seen them before, so I will link to that video below in the description box. Letter P is two basic strokes, the descending stroke and then the backwards oval. And then there are so many different things you can do when you switch those up. When I first started lettering, I did not like the letter P that I was using and I'm going to tell you why. So when I started, I didn't know the difference between cursive and lettering or calligraphy because they are basically the same, right? Not exactly. For one thing, the downstrokes in calligraphy are all thicker than the upstrokes. Cursive is basically mono weight. There is a huge difference between cursive and calligraphy. With calligraphy and lettering, you actually pick up your pen between each stroke. If you have never heard of the basic strokes, I have another video about hand lettering the basic strokes and I will link to that in the description box below. Sometimes I get people commenting that I'm not doing my cursive right because I'm lifting up the pen. In cursive, you keep your pen on the paper for one continuous line for your entire word because I only knew what cursive letters were supposed to look like. This determined the style I was using for certain letters. For example, with a cursive letter P, the descending stroke is just a big loop. That is the style that I used for letter P for a while. It was only when I started trying different styles that I realized I didn't need that loop. In fact, it looked odd because the rest of my letters were not very loopy. So that loop can be great and you can see here in some of these P's I do have a really loopy P. If that kind of style fits with you, then that is great and that's what you need to do. But if it doesn't, like it wasn't fitting with me and my style, but I couldn't figure out how to change that. Now when I letter, I normally just do a straight down stroke on my P for that descending stroke. If I had never branched out and questioned what I thought I already knew, I wouldn't have found something that works so well with my own lettering style. With hand lettering, there are basic strokes and lettering worksheets to help you practice and know where to start. However, you don't need to keep doing the same thing because it's what you're supposed to do. Your lettering gets to look how you want it to look. It's an expression of you, not an expression of someone else. And that's why in these worksheets, I'm giving you 26 different styles because I want you to start thinking outside of the box and find something that works for you. Every letter of these worksheets with 26 ways to letter is in my workbook called Fearless Lettering. I will link to that below if you are interested in that kind of practicing. We don't have to do something the way that we've always done it. The goal is to try different things and decide what is a good fit for us. We want to do what expresses our most confident self. And sometimes that looks different than what other people think it might be. You may find the things that you like about certain letters and certain other letters, and you can combine those creating your very own unique style. If you want to know more about creating your own style with your alphabet, I have a free mini course to help you to create your own alphabet style. I will link to that below as well. I hope you enjoyed seeing these styles and I hope this helped you. I always love seeing different styles together. You can see more videos like this pen video on my Instagram account at Ensign Insights. Thank you so much for watching and for being here. If you liked it, subscribe so you don't miss my next video and I will see you next time.